The problem that we have with North Korea is a, you know, a 25 year track record of breaking promises. What's different here is that there's not been good reward given for bad behavior. Uh, there's been no upfront deals, uh, there's been no upfront conciliation, there's been no bags of cash, there's been no whatever it might be uh, to bring about what we see. I think that if Kim Jong-un is so foolish, you know, I go back to my uh, March of Dictators uh, discussion, if he becomes yet another master of miscalculation, it will be to the point of his destruction. And there will be great human suffering. It will be unfortunate. Um, the South Korean people will prevail, the Chinese will prevail, the United States will prevail. Kim Jong-un will be dead. His regime will be gone. I think the Trump administration did a good job getting other countries to put sanctions on North Korea. And I think these economic sanctions have had an effect. I think it's caused North Korea to take notice. And if you look at the statements and speeches by a North Korean leader, he talks a lot about the economy now. And we do have to give some time for that to work. Every year, the U.S. and South Korea are doing all these military exercises against them, right? A lot of these exercises are about how we defend South Korea, but also how we attack North Korea. And it's got to be at least running through his mind that if diplomacy fails, there's a reason we're doing all these exercises. At some point, we're going to have no option except the military option. So I think there's a strong incentive for him to at least see if diplomacy could work. <laughs>